everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. In today's reading, we're going to look into the person you're thinking about. What does he feel for you and how does he see you? There are three piles over here. This is the first pile, the green heart. The second pile, the orange heart. And the third pile, the purple heart. So please take a moment, visualize your person and use your intuition to choose the pal. You could also pause the video to meditate on the cards. And if you're ready, let's start with the first pal, the green heart. Welcome pal one, all those who've chosen the green heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into the person you're thinking about. What does he feel for you and how does he see you? Okay, so we have here move, judgment, balance, seven of cups, first chakra, okay, then we have the tower, just move those cards a little bit. Anxiety and number 49. Right, I'll just tune into the energy here. Right, Pawan. So, for a lot of you, I do feel that this person here whom you're thinking about, you could be probably in separation from your person. And here it's like you want to know, what do they feel for you? How do they see you? Because I feel like already so much has taken place in your connection. So it is someone with whom you have a bond with, a connection with. And here you are now to know, you want to know how do they feel for you? How do they see you? So um, with the Tower card, I do feel... As I said, a lot has already happened in your connection. And plus, it's with anxiety over here. So it's something which you are very worried about. So something which you're very, very anxious about. So please take how it resonates. But for a lot of you, I do feel that you are not with this person here. And for the others of you, it could be where the person you are thinking about is with someone else. All right. So that's the reason why it's giving you a lot of anxiety. And those are the emotions you're currently going through. It's a very, very heavy feeling over here. Now, your person whom you're thinking about, they know that you are going through this stage. Okay, They know that um, you're worried, you're stressed out, and you're probably a little bit um, anxious about this whole situation. Because this tower moment which has happened, this um, separation which you both went through it has affected the two of you i'm sensing here it's not just you who are going through it i feel your person as well is going through a lot of anxiety here of their own the difference could be where because you're not seeing it you don't know it okay so i do feel like this is from both sides because we have this card as well move this card of balance so i'm seeing an energy here which is affecting the two of you together so I must say there is a lot of mirroring going on over here. So a lot of the answers would be the way you feel. That is how your person similarly feels as well. Yes, in the point of actions, it would be different. But in the 5D, on a higher soul level, what you are feeling, that is how your person is feeling. So I'm seeing your person as well going through a very similar anxiety the way you are. There is... A lot of love here I must say with this card here the move there is a lot of love but with this card again I'm sensing where the hand is not touching the heart here so there is distance over here between the two of you but here it's like your person is on a soul level they are there with you on the physical level yes I do feel that there is a separation but from a soul level you both are one you both are together there is no separation there between the two of you so your person is completely in love with you I'm seeing here whatever the situation is however it's turned out to be but in reality within their soul there is love for you okay and 
In all these cards, I'm seeing a soul connection. So a lot of you here are dealing with your soulmate or twin flames. Okay, so it is deep, but the connection here is not easy and they know it. So the way they feel about you is definitely from within is deep, deep soulful connection, right? But they know in reality, it the situation is very different and it's very difficult. So there is a lot of dreaming here. Your person is dreaming a lot about you, right? They're fantasizing you. They're thinking of different scenarios here with you. But I'm seeing here a lot of hot and cold. So what they're thinking is the good time spent with you as well as the tower moment, all right? So all these emotions here is running in your person's mind. But this is a card of cups plus heart and it's like the temperance. So there is no doubt a lot of emotions here involved in your connection. But yes, because of all the lessons here which you have to learn, we have the judgment card and your person knows this, that you both are, are teaching a lot to each other in this connection and they know it, right? And they feel it because they feel like probably since you both have crossed each other's path, its lessons could have started from them. You both could have started triggering things into each other, right? And situations could have started from them. But they know it. And the thing is, no matter how much they um, feel that being with you is not that easy, they cannot get rid of the emotions. They cannot stop thinking about you. This is someone here who is fantasizing about you all the time. But here again, I'm seeing a snake. So there has been deception involved as well for some of you watching. So things have not been easy as I'm seeing from here. But we also have your ladder. So it's like your person is thinking how to make this connection work. What can they do? But it's just so much. They are a bit overwhelmed with emotions because of so many things they're thinking about. They seem to be a little bit overwhelmed with this. They cannot think straight. They cannot think of one decision to make right now so if you're waiting here for your person to make this decision which i believe some of you are right this person is going to take time because they still don't know here what do they want to do and it's like as i said they can't stop thinking about you it's like constantly they feel you that's how i'm sensing from this with the first chakra coming here is the card of groundness but this is what I feel is lacking in this connection, which is the groundness. So there is love. There is a lot of emotions. There is a lot where your person is imagining about you, thinking about you, but they know that your relationship right now is not grounded. It's not very practical. And because of that, the tower moment came true because it was not based on solid grounds. It does not mean that it was based on falsehood, but the foundation was not correct. The foundation was not strong. So in a way, this has happened for a reason and it's good it's happened because now your person is thinking of the situation more practically and they would start basing this foundation on a more grounded and solid level. Okay, so if you're doubting here your person's emotions, please don't do that. There is... Um, I don't see here something to doubt this person's feelings for you. But yes, your situations could be different. Like I said, for some of you as well, it could be where this person is maybe with someone else here. And at that time, this was not under control. So thinking about you falling in love with you is not something which they're consciously doing. It's happening on its own here. Okay, it's all happening here on its own. So the way you are not able to control yourself, that's how your person feels as well. But here, yes, they're trying to figure things out. They're just thinking about what to do to make these things work. But they definitely know how you're feeling and what you're going through because, as I said, they are feeling the same. And with this image card here, number 49, the way I'm seeing is your person feels that you are a very strong person and you will endure all this, you will come out stronger than ever, but they know as well that you are very attached to them. Okay, I'm seeing this as you are being so um, emotionally attached to your person and being in the separation is causing you a lot of pain and you're not able to fly the way, you know. So basically the way they did see you initially, you were like a free bird, you were very um, happy-go-lucky. That could have been your energy. But after 
um, crossing party or with this person, you have become very attached to them. And now, because of all the situations, well, they still see that you're very attached to your person here and they feel it, they know it. They know you are stronger than, they know you're, there, you're stronger than who you are. But because of them, you're not able to move forward. They do realize this. And they really look up to your strength because they feel like they are not as strong as you are. But because of them, you do feel very weak. You do feel you don't have the wings to fly here. And I see your person is kind of blaming themselves a little bit here for your situation. They feel like it's only because of them you are in this position right now. So they are feeling very, very guilty about this. So I'm I am sensing a lot of pain here in your connection. Of course, if this is a new relationship which you're thinking about completely brand new, this pile might not be for you. You might want to choose another pile because what I'm sensing from you are those people who are or who have been in a connection and who have touched here each other's life, okay? So yes, your person still do have strong strong feelings for you but i feel like right now the situation is not very favorable but i see your person trying to work it out but because it's still the seven of cups it's still up in the air it's still not very grounded i don't see any pentacles energy over here i'm seeing a lot of you know um things happening on the subconscious level and on the 5d on the soul level here so hopefully, of course, with times, things change, situations change, and your person does take some practical steps. But that's how they feel for you, Pal One. I really hope you resonated with this. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading based on your personal circumstances, you can message me and find my details below. And I'll see you in my next reading. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome, Pal Two, all those who've chosen the Orange Heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into the person you're thinking about. How do they see you and what do they feel for you? Okay, so first we have here, oh, envy. Man holding a coin. The fool. Three of Cups, the Guru, Dedicated Effort, Success and Growth, and we have Image Number Nine. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Right, pal two. So I'm seeing two slightly different scenarios here. So please take how it resonates. So we have here envy and three of cups. So it could be um, potentially where if any one of you are in a third party, the other person is feeling very envious about it for obvious reasons. But if that's not the situation, if none of you are in a third party situation, I sense from this that your person here could be very jealous when you're spending a lot of time with your friends or your loved ones. Because um, this could be someone who would be a little bit more possessive for you, who want to offer you everything he has. Okay, so I do see here a lot of envious feeling here from your person. And you are someone who is very friendly, who do like talking to people, who like mixing around, maybe probably socializing as well. And you could be having few people who are very, very close to you. Like, you know, maybe your best friends or some family members whom you're very close to. And I feel this is something which your person um, does get kind of jealous about. Because here, I see them like they want to offer you everything. They want to be everything for you. Okay, here I feel like this is how they want you to see them. So they want you to see them as someone who is extremely the most good looking person who can offer you everything what other people cannot, who makes you laugh and makes you smile. So it's just like they want to be the center of your world, right? And probably right now that is not how they feel, okay? And 
Yeah, so there would be someone who probably could be kind of possessive as well, I'm feeling here. They do see you as someone who's very priceless, who deserves so much more. And that's what they want to offer you. So some of you probably would like that feeling as well of, you know, this one person here being kind of um, possessive or envious of you. But some of you might be a bit, oh, I don't want that. So take how it resonates, okay? But um, I do see here as well that they do look at you a lot. They could be also following you a lot on social media or seeing you from a distance without you knowing it. Because here I feel like they're not, showing you how obvious their feeling is. They're trying to hide their feelings. So they're not really truly expressing to you out there how they feel. So I feel like some of you could be in the dark. Maybe this person pretends like they don't really care that much or they're fine with everything, but deep within they're not. So I feel this is their side of theirs, which they've not truly expressed to you yet. Okay. With this card to the guru, I do feel like your person is very serious about you and they would want a very serious connection with you, especially here with this man holding a coin. It's like a pentacle, a stable, strong energy here combined with this, the guru. I feel, you know, if um, some of you are dating, maybe would want to marry you or if you've not, this person is still in your friend zone, they would want to date you. And if you are in separation as well, I do feel like you are running in this person's mind and they do want something serious from you and in this connection here because they are someone who's very matured and I don't see them as kind of playing around quite a bit. I see this person as someone here who is um, very, very serious okay, about your connection. I don't mean in life because I see them a little bit more free spirit as well, but they do want you all for themselves. And that's the reason, another reason why as well, why they want to make this commitment to you and make it quite formal so that they can tell the whole world that, you know, back off, she's just mine. So that's the energy I'm sensing from this. And with the full card over here, I feel like this person is ready to take this risk with you. So maybe in the past, they would have been someone very, uh, cautious or they would have been thinking a lot about the situation maybe just wondering whether is it the right step or the right move to take and with the full card coming here it's like this person now is ready to take this leap of faith with you is ready to step in and to offer you this commitment which maybe you've been waiting since a while or now they do feel they're kind of ready here to commit to you they see your value now which I'm sensing from this and with dedicated effort coming up here. Now again, if you were really after this person, okay, if and they probably would have noticed this. So they noticed would have they would have noticed your consistent effort in trying to build this connection with them. If that's not the case, if you've not been um, after this person by any sort, so it looks here like your person now is ready to put in the effort into this connection. I feel from all this that now your person seems to be very very ready okay and they don't want this situation anymore so that's the reason why they're kind of um coming in the zone where enough is enough i've had enough now i'm ready to take this leap of faith and i'm ready to make the situation and the disconnection work they are painting this picture in their mind okay they're already visualizing you with them and again here as you can see it's just the two of them deeply in love, very deeply in love. Maybe this has still not happened in reality. Maybe in reality, you're, you know, you're just moving around as friends. You're still not in that zone where it's just the two of you. For some of you, that could be the situation as well. So now I see like in the mind, you've painted this picture of just the two of you out there together and no one else. With this as well, they are, they've thought a lot about it. I feel they've thought a lot about all the situations and they do feel like now is the right time. So I feel like if your person has still not made a move, very soon you will see a move here being made from this person, whether it's in words or in actions. But I see them here expressing themselves now to say that here I am and I'm the one. So with this image nine, the way they see you, I'm sensing, is like I said, they see you as someone very friendly whom people really like and love mixing around with. So you, they see you a lot here as a people's person. 
and they also see you as someone who's very um, flexible so it's a very easygoing person and that's one reason probably as well which makes them slightly envious is because many people really like you and are ready to do anything for you so they also could be feeling a little bit insecure out there, a little com competitive spirit which is coming through. So they feel like they are not the only one and there are many other people out there who would be ready here to do anything for you. They might have heard some other people who found you very beautiful or who had a crush on you. And yeah, your person, I'm seeing them to be kind of insecure but they're trying not to let that affect them they're trying to close off all of that and just putting their whole concentration out there in you and your connection and being very sure within themselves that you know things can now work out but yeah i feel they're mesmerized as well by your looks and they're probably not sure no 100 percent sure here whether would you be completely interested in them? So they would be trying it. I feel they're putting in more effort now because they see that there are other people out there who are really, really strong competition and there are chances that you could go with someone else as well. So it's very insecure feeling out there. But no doubt they're mesmerized by your looks completely here. And yeah, I do feel like constantly they're imagining you and they're painting a picture already in the mind about the future of your connection and about marriage and so on and so forth. All right, pal two, I hope you resonated with this. If you did, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I am offering a personal reading. If you'd like to request one, you can find my details below and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome Pal 3, all those who have chosen the Purple Heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into the person you're thinking about. What does he feel for you and how does he see you? So we have here adjacent possibilities. Attachment. Five of Pentacles. Okay, the star, throat chakra, queen of pentacles, spread your wings, and image number 45. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Yeah? Paltry, what I'm seeing from here is a sense of loss from your person. They feel like they have lost something. So it could be for some of you where, yes, maybe you're not in contact with your person or even if this is a new connection which you are thinking about, your person for some reason feels like they have lost this opportunity there to be with you. It could be maybe, you know, there are other people interested in you and they feel like they cannot compete with them. Or for those of you who have been in connection and who have, are not together or you've had a bro breakup or something, your person does feel left out in the cold and that's how they're sensing it. So it's a very um, emotional feeling here from your person. And... The thing is though, in spite of what the situation is, this card attachment has come up, so they're still very attached to you. And with the star here as well, it's they're still wishing for you, they're still hoping for you. So no matter where this person is, whether they are by your side or they're away from you, that's how they're feeling. They're feeling very, they're feeling like they're really missing you a lot. And they're praying for your connection here. It's quite an emotional card actually I'm sensing from your person because this just makes me feel that your person is feeling a little bit. They're not seeing the light in life anymore. They're kind of seeing life in black and white. Being Feeling being left out in the cold so they're not 
they're not enjoying life the way they used to in the past. That's probably again something which some of you could say it's replicating your feeling, but that's how your person is feeling right now. They don't feel life so colorful and that's because you're not there here by the side. We have your adjacent possibilities. So with this, if your person is not with you, okay, I do feel that yes, they probably could have, you know, looked around. They could have tried talking to different people, but here it's like a broken door, broken window out there. No one has been like you. They couldn't find anyone like you. And that's how it feels here. So it's like without you, they did try moving on, but they've not been able to move on. They made an effort, but even here, it kind of looks very dull, very gray. So it's like no one else could make them feel the way you did make them feel. So here it's like they're praying it out. They, there is some kind of sincerity in this person's heart here regardless of what's been happening here, but in their heart, there is some sort of sincerity here. And they still have this hope within them, although externally, it looks like the situation is completely hopeless or they can't see the light, but deep within their heart, there is still that slight, you know, um, hope and faith that things could change here. So, yeah, we have it at throat chakra, but with this, I feel that your person's throat chakra is blocked. Okay, they are not expressing at all how they feel completely. So you might not have, some of you might not have heard from this person at all, or even if you are, this person might not have ever told you how they truly feel. Okay, because they, they're just not feeling it. They just feel they can't say it, they can't do it. Because like I said, this, light here is just deep within their heart so it's not something which they've expressed to you yet it's really um i get this feeling slightly of being self-sabotaging so where things could be much easier and much smoother but your person is making it more difficult here for the two of you um it seems yeah, with this card attachment, it looks like this person's hand is tied up, is tied up, right? But the other hand is free. So they can use the other hand to actually free themselves. So I feel your person could be or could have given you excuses for why things are not working and everything. And as I said, they could have also spoken to other people thinking that, you know, uh, maybe it's an easier way to move on, but it's not. They've tried to move on, but it's not worked here. So now it's kind of like they have given up. They know it's no point because you are still in their heart. So it's no point for them to go anywhere and to find any, anyone else here. So now they're just sitting here and waiting. With the Queen of Pentacles, your person does seem to have a lot of patience, a lot. So if for whatever reason right now they feel situation is not perfect for the two of you, they are happy to wait out there no matter how long for the situation to become perfect. And they will speak up only when they feel is the right time out there. And right now they are in this energy, but they want to come in this energy before they actually express themselves. With spread your wings, you know, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a dual um, feeling here from this person. So that's the reason why I do feel it's self-sabotaging because they are not seeing the picture clearly. They're not seeing reality of the situation. As I said in the beginning, the way they see things is completely black and white. They're not seeing things for what it truly is. So I'm saying here that they're not seeing you for who you truly are as well. There is this like, they're seeing you the way they want to see you, but that's not who you truly are. So there is this kind of where, it's not the real picture. So depending on what situation is happening, right? So it's like they keep changing their mind. They keep changing their opinion. So at times they would feel like, you know, you are maybe the best person in this whole world. You are the one for them. And at times they feel like maybe it's not right for the two of you to be together. Maybe, you know, you both 
argue a lot so they don't feel that it's the best situation so there is a lot of back and forth back and forth i'm seeing here in their um in the way they think about you i'm seeing a lot of doors opening so there is this person where they have not made up their mind they're still very confused about um, how they truly feel i don't see a lot of clarity here in this person's mind and even here, it's kind of, you know, like a puppet sort of. So that's why I feel where the mind just keeps changing all the time, depending on the scenario and the situations. For example, sometimes if they meet you in a party, they might suddenly at that moment be so attracted towards you. You might have a very nice time. And after a few days, maybe you'd find where this person has just suddenly ghosted you for no reason. Because that time, maybe they might feel that, no, practically, maybe um, you both don't really gel up so it could be that sort of thing so it's a lot of um it's really unclear here how this person feels deep inside they know that there is something here and that's the reason why they feel this sort of attachment or even when they want to break free they're not able to break free so the way they see you here it's very um conflicting because it keeps changing all the time, I'm saying here. It really depends at that moment what mindset they are in or what situation they are in. That's how they kind of perceive you then. But it's something you're aware they've not been able to move on from you. They've tried, but they've not been able to. So they know there is something, but what is it they don't know. So I feel like they've still not gone through that awareness. They've still not gone through that um that expansion would spread your wings again it's like you know they are moving closer towards enlightenment but it's still at a distance so i feel here that it is going to take still a lot of time for you to truly understand this person's motives this person's intentions because they've still they've still not reached the light and this person could be someone very impulsive as well i'm saying so you might not see this person as well for who they truly are okay and that's the reason why they are not able to see you for who you truly are because their mind keeps changing their situations keep changing and that's why they're um, the way they perceive you as well that keeps changing here yeah? so it's really very very difficult i do feel like it's not easy for you it's not been easy here um having this interaction with the person because you're not getting the assurance and the clarity out there which you truly need. So yes, Paltry, this is kind of very, very um, conflicting here, I'm sensing. But what is surely there is there is a lot of attachment here between the two of you. And also your person is not truly expressing how they feel for you. So that's again something which is kept in the dark. But they, right now, they do feel like the connection you're in could be slightly amateur and they want it to mature completely they want to see it mature completely before they feel it you know is the right thing for them to do so they wouldn't just speak up in the initial stages they would see through things go through things analyze and when they feel they are 110 percent sure would then they speak up about it all right pal three i hope you resonated i know it was a bit conflicting and i probably have um, given as well different conflicting messages I do realize but that's just because it's tapping in with what your person is actually thinking and feeling which is different all the time right I hope you resonated with this if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe I am offering a personal reading if you'd like to request one you can find my details below and I'll see you in my next video take care goodbye